Hi guys, I'm Farida and welcome to my channel. A lot of my patients ask why do I have to take a dental x-ray? I know I have a tooth decay, I know my wisdom teeth is coming up, so why do I have to take a dental x-ray? I'm going to cover it up in this video, why you need to take a dental x-ray and the common types of dental x-ray. Check out the time code below, hope you learned something new and feel free to skip around. Okay, let's jump in. X-ray helps your dentist to see the jaw bones, the root of your teeth, or the teeth that have not yet been erupted. It can show conditions that early stage when it's easier to treat. Here are some reasons why your dentist asks for dental X-rays. Looking for decays. So it helps your dentist to look for small areas of decay in the teeth or below the dental filling. Looking for bone disease like periodontal disease that the inflammation of the gums attack the bone and we will have bone loss. Looking for tooth infection, keys or tumors inside the jaws and examining the area before any procedures like before uh, doing a wisdom teeth surgery or having an implant. The x-ray we take in dentistry can be divided into two categories depending where the film is placed. If the film is placed inside the mouth it is called intraoral radiograph but if it's outside the mouth we call it extraoral radiographs. Intraoral radiographs includes preapical radiography, bite wings, and ukulza radiography. Let's talk about periapical radiography. In this picture, the film is placed inside the holder and is placed behind of the lower arc teeth. So it's an intraoral radiography. Peri means around, apical means the apex. So the practical radiography, you can see the entire tooth, crown, roots, and the surrounding bone. It is used to detect caries, diagnosing inflammation in the apex of the tooth. Or for root canal therapy, we can use it to detect the canal and its length. And using it for follow-up radiography after the implant surgery. Next, we have the bite wing radiography. It is the wing in the holder of the film you bite while taking the x-ray, covering the crown portion of the top and bottom teeth together when the person bites on the bite wing. When you look at it, you see the crowns of both arcs up and down. We can have the left and right side, and you don't see the roots. It's routinely taken for detecting the caries between the teeth that it can be hided from the dentist or for assessing the bone levels, especially in patients with periodontal disease or gum disease that can cause bone loss. So we can detect the bone level in the bite wing radiography. A full mouth radiography is a composed of series radiography, including the combination of a practical radiography plus bite wings radiography of both sides of all of the teeth inside the jaw and is usually taken when we need to assess all of the teeth in details so it's a lot of preapical and bite wings radiography. What's the radiography? The film is placed inside the mouth and in a horizontal position and then you close your mouth. If the tube x-ray is from the top is from the upper jaw but if the tube is from the bottom, you're taking a radiography from the lower jaw. The ukusa radiography shows the roof or the floor of your mouth and are used to find extra teeth or teeth that have not yet been erupted. It can show jaw fractures and foreign objects. Like in this radiography, you can see uh, the salivary gland stone inside the salivary gland duct. 
The extra oral radiography that we're going to talk about is the panoramic radiography that is also called the OPG that stands for orthopontomogram and we're also going to talk about the CBCD scan that is a sectional radiography. The most common extra oral radiography that we use in dentistry is the panoramic radiography. You can check out how the machine works in the link above. So the film is outside of the mouth. It's an extra oral radiography and the panoramic film gives you a full view of both jaws. A panoramic radiography, it's like a panoramic picture, so you're looking at it, it gives us a full view. We can have an overall view, patient who don't have a cooperation like young kids or a patient with bad reflex and can't hold the film inside the mouth, we can use an OPG. And uh, the panoramic radiography we use especially for examining the dental growth sequence and assessment of the third molar before extraction, like its interference with the nerves. And it's useful for assessing fractures, cysts, and tumors inside the jaws. And you can assess uh, your jaw joints. Panoramic radiography have lesser details than intraoral radiography, especially for detecting early stage of caries because the film is outside of the mouth. What do I mean by this? I know all of you have played with the light and the shadow. This picture here, the hand is close to the wall, so the shadow has much more details and looks like the same size of the hand. But the other picture, the object that can be resembling the tooth, is far from the wall, so it has magnification in the shadow and lesser details. CBC stands for Cone Bean Computed Tomography, that is a sectional radiography. The system rotates around the patient head, something like the panoramic machine. And it gives us three-dimensional radiography and sectional radiography, as you see, with so more details. And you can see the jaw bones, especially for evaluating the bone disease, nasal cavity, the sinuses, tumors, and the, the relation of the impacted lower wisdom teeth with the nerve. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, press the bell button for getting notifications for the next video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.